we're going to talk about spoke nipples. On our road wheels, we use two different types of nipples, uh, both of them internal. We have a 15 millimeter jacketed nipple and eight and a half millimeter self-aligning nipple. And we use internal nipples for a variety of reasons. The number one being strength and, and reliability. Um, the other reason that we use uh, internal nipples is aerodynamics. Uh, we spend a lot of time doing CFD and, and wind tunnel testing to get the perfect rim shape and it makes a difference internal versus external nipples. External nipples have extra drag that internal nipples don't. Uh, it makes for a much cleaner profile, much cleaner wind flow. Uh, we run fewer spokes than most wheel builders and in doing so we run higher tensions than most. They're not very high tensions but they're higher than, than standard in the industry. An external nipple, uh, the part you see uh, in a wheel that you can true with is actually held into the rim with a flange. And that flange gets cyclically loaded in fatigue, you know, under tension from the spokes. And over time, that can fail uh, under a high tension. And it's because that flange is in tension, the internal nipples get you away from the tension issue. They put the entire nipple in compression. So under the spoke tension, our entire nipple is in compression, which means it's not subject to fatigue loading. Uh, and that's a pretty big issue when you consider that a wheel, in one revolution, every spoke and every nipple tensions and detensions once. So that's just one revolution. It happens thousands, millions of times in the lifetime of a wheel.